Hey YouTube, what is up? It's Full Auto, and we're doing another tutorial, and this one's how to set up your own Minecraft server using Bucket. So first of all, you're going to want to go to Bucket.org. It'll probably be in the description. And you're going to want to look for the latest recommended build. Mine is right here, but this website updates all the time, so don't quote me. It might not be right here, you might just have to search around the website, it's not that hard. So you're going to click on that, craftbucket.jar, and you're going to want to download WinRAR, and I think a lot of people have WinRAR, because for mods, it makes it a lot easier, and for this, it makes it a lot easier. So I definitely recommend that, I'm not going to go over it. So, just let it install and then it'll open when it's done in the meantime we can go new uh, folder and I'm gonna name mine server test you'll probably want to name your server but I already have a server I'm just playing server folder right here so and they would conflict so I'm just gonna name it server test so it should be about done maybe pretty soon okay now it's done okay so you're gonna wanna click on these two dots if you have one room and drag the the craft bucket over that's right here I have like three of them it might take a little while okay there now you're gonna wanna rename. You wanna keep the dot jar then. But you can delete everything except craft bucket dot jar. And that hit enter. And my computer's being slow. Not responding. What's up with that? Okay, sorry guys. I wonder if this will work. I might edit this out if it takes too long. Oh, it's done. Okay, never mind. Never mind with the editing. Okay. So now you can close out all this. You want to keep this up because you'll need it later. And you'll go right click, new text document, name it start.txt. That's already there. And, um, it'll be like, it might not say .txt. If you want to see that, you can go to View, Hide Extensions for Known File Types. It's right here. You want to, if you check that, you can't see the .txt, but if you uncheck it, you can. So, I like to see the .txt, the .jar, so I keep it that. But you're going to want to open it regardless minimize that and I have a text document right here this will be in the description but you're gonna wanna copy and paste it control C oops I didn't mean to do that and then control V to paste and save as that's important go to save as type all files start.txt change it to start.bat and then save. Okay, now you're just gonna want to text this, make, test it, make sure it's working. Okay, stuff popped up, so it's working. And now you have all this stuff. So an important thing: server dot properties. You can change whitelist if you want a whitelist. Choose who can log in and stuff. Change that to true. PvP, player versus player, so players can hurt each other. I like to have that false. Max players, whatever you want. Uh, allow Nether if you want to allow people to go to Nether and what you want to name yours. I'm going to name mine test. You don't even have to name it, but I'm going to. So now you go to save. And you can exit out of that. 
and you can edit like the whitelist and everything so if I wanted me in there oops and then you just go to save and I'd be the only one allowed to log on to the, log on to the server but yeah we don't want that do we so now I'm going to show you how to plug it the install plugins wow I can't talk today okay so you're going to want to go to your server folder wrong one go to your server folder click on plugins it should be empty right now but then you want to go to bucket.com go to forums plugin releases and I'm not really going to search for one but ones I recommend are LWC Essentials definitely but this is the first one so I'm just gonna do this one the first one I see so I'm gonna drag this raw file into the server test folder the plugins thing drag that, exit out of that, you can back and you've downloaded the plugin it's as easy as that, I th always thought it was pretty complicated but it's not at all okay so I'm running pretty good on time I'm gonna show you really quick how to port forward and it's a lot easier than people think okay so you're gonna want your default gateway which you can just go down here to the search bar go to command and you're gonna want to type in IP oops I have caps lock on IP config and all this stuff pops up you're gonna want to look at your default gateway nine I'm not gonna say that out loud don't mind. <laughs> and IP4 address you probably want to write those down um, I'm not actually sure if you need your IP4. Maybe that's just for vanilla. I'm probably going to do a tutorial for both. But anyways, your default gateway, you're going to want to type it in the search bar. Okay, and it should, like, authent authentication or something. I can't say that required so username authentication I think okay username it's admin usually password can be admin password a lot of things mine is different but anyways so you're gonna wanna go to port forward and port triggering triggering add custom service you can name it minecraft you can name it server pretty much whatever you want service type tcp and udp is what you want to keep it in starting port 25565 ending port 25565 server ip address should be point one and then point something and then hit apply port Oh, oh, I already have this up, so I already have this one created. I mean, so it won't work, but it'll work for you guys. So now we're gonna go to our server folder. I'm gonna go to this one and click on start.bat, the one with like the tool thing by it, or the yeah, it's a gear, I guess and then go to minecraft oh I forgot sorry guys I forgot something I wanna go to google type in what my what's my IP and the first one that pops up you're gonna wanna click on it and it'll show your IP address right here just copy and paste it copy it exit out in Minecraft go to multiplayer paste it then do connect should say logging in and now you are in your server 
I don't even know where I am. So, in the description will be everything you need. Um, also in the description will be my IP address to log on to my server if you guys want to get on. It's free build, Creeper. It's free build. You can feel free to join. We need more people. We have like six right now. And yeah. So, yeah, don't forget to join. Also, don't forget to subscribe and leave a rating. This has been Falato. Peace.